Hi guys, Jamie Bluen here from Bluen Brothers. Today I'd like to talk to you about indoor air quality. Indoor air quality or excessive moisture or condensation, right? So bear with me, uh, I'm just going to try to piece this together for us and uh, try to explain it the best way that I can. So now you, you've called, you've bought new windows for your home, you've wrapped new insulation around your house underneath your siding you've had us come in and spray foam your basement seal all the joist ends the house is now airtight right so we got to watch now this is going to be the missing piece of the puzzle now some of you might be saying oh geez what's next right i've just made my home energy efficient spent all this money on windows you know now my windows are sweating what's next well i have to tell you this will be the last piece of the puzzle nowadays our whole goal is to make our homes more energy efficient. When we make our homes more energy efficient, yes, we're cutting down our monthly bills, we're cutting down on the air infiltration, uh, and, and our houses are becoming more comfortable. But the missing piece of the puzzle will be proper ventilation, proper indoor air quality. Um, so what we've done, I'll just recap, right? Real basic sketch of our house, right? Got our basement walls. So now we've spray foamed all your basement. You know, you, you may have put new siding on, new windows, and you may have put styrofoam underneath your siding, right? You've called us, we put in the proper ventilation, we've insulated your attic, and we've got a couple good max vents on the roof. Max vents are these, just to fix up my drawing. So maximum roof vents. So the whole point, we've made the house airtight, right? We have very little air leakage. So now the the missing piece of the puzzle will be here. And a few of the Teltine sales, if, if you haven't met with me or if I haven't, uh, you know, if we haven't met at your house and had an in-home consultation and you've just called sort of random people, I've called the window guy, I've had somebody insulate my attic. If you haven't met a guy like me, I'm not saying I know it all, but when I come in, I like to explain the whole process because our house is a system, right? We have to start thinking, the house as a system. System, very important. The attic is insulated properly. We've got good air going out, right? The house is air sealed. There's no cold air coming in, hot air escaping. Our basement's all spray foamed, but our everyday living. Now what I mean by everyday living, you boil a pot of water, you take a shower, you mop the floor. What are all these doing? They're introducing moisture into your home. When we start introducing moisture into your home and you have no means of ventilating it, then that's where we start to run into issues. So some of the signs that you, you may see, you may see some condensation on your windows, right? Condensation on your windows. You may see some black marks on your ceiling right? So these are just sure signs that our indoor air, our indoor air is not being changed. We need balanced ventilation, but we need to control our indoor air. Because in theory, when we have an airtight home, right? Our airtight house we're rebreathing that same air. Sometimes the air in your home could be up to 10 times more polluted than our outside air. We're rebreathing that air. It's just recirculating. So we're, we're getting a lot of moisture. Moisture just from everyday living. You take a shower, you're putting probably a gallon of water in the, in the air. It's staying in your house. You mop the floor, all that moisture needs to evaporate, but it's still staying in your house. So guys, I just want to explain a little bit more of what an HRV actually does. 
So the brand that we typically like to use is our Life Breath Heat Recovery Ventilator, um, or HRV for short. So your Life Breath and your Venmar, they're really your main brands. Um, but getting to the point, what does a heat recovery ventilator do? A heat recovery ventilator will help with your moisture levels, with your indoor air quality um, of your home. And it's an actual air changer. It's an efficient way to change the air. So what it does, it gives you balanced ventilation. So the same amount of air that's going out is coming right back in. But the air that's coming back in is getting reheated. It's picking up that heat loss from the escaping air through their patented aluminum air exchange core. So the air is actually exhausting out through one side of the core. It goes out as stale, warm air. And at the same, same time, we have fresh incoming air, which comes across the aluminum core, picks up the heat, and then is supplied back to the house. These units are up to, uh, we can get them up to 90% efficient, but your standard unit, you're 70, 75% efficient. So the whole purpose of a, a HRV or heat recovery ventilator is to control the indoor air. They run on low speed continuously. When they sense an increase in humidity, the unit will kick onto high speed until it needs to. Uh, you'll end up with probably push button timers in your bathroom if the installation allows for it. In some of these older homes, it could be tough, but we, uh, we, we do our best. So a push button timer, you take a shower, you push the button, it runs on a high speed for 20 minutes. It's, it's a controlled ventilation. And it really just finishes off the whole house as a system. Proper insulation, but most importantly, proper indoor air quality proper humidity levels. So the little areas that we're, we're gonna keep an eye on, windows, black marks on your ceiling, and of course there is a few others that I can't explain just here. It's more of an in-home consultation. Please feel free to give me a call. I'd be more than happy to meet with you and I could point you in the right direction.